Hi Al, and welcome to Musemes.com. Uh, first off, just want to say a big thanks to all the members on the site. Uh, the response to our templates and the new membership program has been absolutely overwhelming, and we really do appreciate the support. Uh, there's plenty of new and exciting features and improvements on the horizon from you, so we'll certainly continue to provide tips and tricks, and of course, new templates to help you learn and grow your business. So, let's get started with Google AdSense in your Adobe Muse site. For those who don't know, Google AdSense is a free online advertising service where you can subscribe and you can place ads on your website and Google will actually pay per click for each of your ads. If we just jump over to our browser here you can see uh, just Google Google AdSense it's uh, Google dot when CA in my case dot com and many of yours the slash AdSense and uh, going to that link will get you to the AdSense landing page. So if you don't have an account you'll need to sign up. Uh, the sign up process was pretty simple you shouldn't have any issues with that and uh, once you got your account activated uh, the inside of uh, the dashboard here will kind of look like this and so you have the opportunity to kind of look at create new ads or block and add new ads and see how your ads are performing so uh, this is the my ads section and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a new ad to show you how to use it with Muse so if we go create a new ad unit uh, just gives us a bunch of options here to customize our ad so we can give our ad a name um, you can call it anything you want if it's for a specific page on your website maybe you want to name it after that page whatever works for you uh, your ad size so you can pick a variety of different ad sizes here um, this is 728 wide by 90 high, which is a leaderboard. Uh, that's you know for usually for the kind of header or footer of your site. But there's also lots of different options for kind of mixing the ads into your site. And again, I have to stress that you don't want to clutter up your site with ads. This is really just to um, put them in a place where you know they kind of blend in with content, and they're not really going to distract your user from what you're trying to do on your site. So once you pick your size, you have the option to pick your ad type, and the ad type can be as simple as a text ad which is just kind of like what you see here on the right a very simple kind of Google ad or you can choose image and rich media ads which we're not going to get a preview here but these are really the ads that you see motion you see um, a little bit more visuals and that sort of thing so you're probably going to want to go with that the uh, text only ads are a little bit um, a little bit odd looking on most sites and then you have the option to kind of choose what your backup is going to be if Google can't figure out a certain ad to serve up in that space you can just show blank or you can fill it with solid black something like that so uh, I'm not going to touch on the custom channels here but the last kind of setting we have is you can just choose some contrast settings and some color settings so you really want to make these blend in with your site so once you've got your ads all set up I'm just gonna give it a name here called sample you can go save and get code and what that's going to do is it's going to generate you some embed code uh, for you to embed in your news site once uh, you've copied and pasted this code in your site uh, Google will mark this as a brand new ad and they're going to approve it so it, it's not going to work necessarily instantly but what I'll do is I'll drop back to one of my ads that I'm using right now and I'll just click get code so as you can see here's the code I'm just gonna copy that jump over to Muse and this is the countdown template that I'm using here and it'll go object insert HTML and I'll paste the code there so give it a sec to load up here and there you go so you can see we see a preview already of an ad here and this little arrow in the corner here is actually a good indicator if a site's using uh, in an AdSense program now each time a visitor clicks on these ads you're going to make money it's not going to be hundreds of dollars for each click it's going to be you know a couple cents that sort of thing but what you need to remember is uh, depending on the volume of traffic on your site that can certainly add up and one of the examples I wanted to quickly show here was uh, the oatmeal now the oatmeal is one of my favorite sites um, he does kind of comics and that sort of thing and on his blog you can see that he's got all his normal site content and then right at the bottom he's got just this one ad so really he only has one ad on his whole website but you know with enough traffic and I imagine that he's probably got in the high hundred thousands or more um, this really adds up per clicks and I mean you can tell that uh, he's probably making enough on that ad that he can draw comics so kudos to him so if we drop back to our Muse site here and then I uh, preview the site we'll get a chance to see what Google's 
placing in. So right now I've got an ad for City TV, uh, and these ads will change each time. Google will kind of assess what your site content is, and if you're in the web design world, there's a good chance you're going to see ads for web design software or hosted services, that sort of thing. Now, make sure you read the policies for Google AdSense, as you don't want to be clicking on your own ads. Uh, that can get you banned. Um, you certainly don't want to mess with Google in that way, but uh, this can be a good way for you to just make a little bit of extra money on your site. Uh, it all depends on where you place the ads, uh, how you know how you integrate them into the site so they're quite seamless, and you know maybe it'll just at least pay for your Muse subscription each month. But you never know. So that's just one of the many ways out there to monetize your website. And if you've never heard of it before, I encourage you to try it with your Muse site. Cheers.